That's not true. He was in front of the line. <laughs> You're just rubbish. <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh, if you don't play by the rules... You're going to tell me... Hugo! ...about rules. I keep telling Have you. Have seen Hugo? already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door. I'm going to find him. All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I, I don't know. I... I did everything I could to protect him. Even... horrible things. It is easy to spill blood. But to love, to protect... I'm going to find him. Then go. And pray there is still time. That's him! Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, Mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. 
Who are you talking to, Mummy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on then. See for yourself. Hugo, are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mummy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Hugo, no! you, did they? No. But why did you go off like that? I heard Mummy. She was calling me. It must have been a nightmare, that's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed.
Today's refining gone. The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw episanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. His blood will restore the power's equilibrium. May his soul emerge unscathed. Ad ignem. Ad lucem. Scrape the tanks.
OMG battles. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so. Because that's all we'll be able to produce. It is already a miracle that Vitali's body can take such quantities of Epicyclus. His faith protects him. It protects us all. in front of the cathedral. Oh, so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us. And I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again after the end of the bite. It's going to be quite a party. Be brave. and occultism. And you, you all follow him on this infernal road. Measure your words, Excellency. Uh, my head. Sh shut up. Mummy, <laughs> where are you? of a child during the great plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me.
By freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Goodyear's uh, presence it can be. a lot. The can Prima Macula, oh, well, let's go and see. cusp so of the first threshold, right, devours the earth. lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave. Order or chaos. Just an empty space. But how oh, can well. we be sure? Trista Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... Uh, if I may. It's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Roon. Have you tested it? Yes. Uh, alas, Monseigneur... The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. Tell you the truth. You are a vile 
heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon, you are to be excommunicated. One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop, but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commences. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. He's scary, but I have to follow him. Why does she keep resisting like that? We have the same goal. We both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. The daughter is making the same error. <sighs> Stupid. But the brother, he is unique. He might understand. Unique? I'm unique? At ease. At ignem. Ad lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. Congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks. And then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> it seems he has a sense of humor. That he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her?
quickly. Captain, uh, I was told that the carrier of the macula is here. Is that right? The child turned himself in this morning. Apparently there was a disagreement. As I was telling you, this god was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. It's just a matter of time. So let us pray that Vitalis' conjuration ceremony will indeed take place. Where is he? I won't find Mummy without him. What? No matter. Oh, rats. Uh, Why can't I hear you like the others? Your new rats here. Seeing as we have to transport them. You have nothing to fear from them. Meticulous crossbreeding and a little alchemy has tempered their instincts. Not to mention a, a radical change of diet. <sighs> Good. Hey, kid. <gasps> Help me. No. Help me. What's wrong with him now? Hey, oh, no. die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather he waited. That's preferred pressure. Damn you! You'll all go to hell! You, you and your fucking rats! shall nourish a new race of angels. They shall be your children, your pride. It's horrible. Tim, it's going to get mommy. If she sees her son with a knife to his throat, she'll go. Let's go past. That the rune woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Ah, serves her right. Ah, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh, no. She's way too stuck. But no match for our torture. She must be near. can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, bastard. doing here? Shh. I have to find my mommy. The alchemist. 
Oh, goodness. You shouldn't. Sorry, I need to go. Goodbye. But, so they... Amicia said you were dead, but you're not. Amicia. My darling. You must go if they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo. Did they take your blood? Oh my God. Hugo, we'll go together, but you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Can you make it there? Off you go then. Go. Very careful. Come back as soon as you have the keys. When I return, I want everything prepared and ready to begin. Do you understand? Yes, Lord Nicholas. All right, you heard him. Everything will be ready. The alchemist will talk. I'm going to enjoy it. Just do your job. The captain of the guard doesn't appreciate improvisation, and neither do I. Yes, of course. Let me know when you're ready. I have to make them leave. Right. This might give me a promotion. Authority, results. I thought you had to be efficient. That the rune woman no, has the skin of a real lady. So soft. Anyway, the knives are sharpened. Hammer, pliers, vibrant saw. Everything is ready. Have I forgotten anything? <laughs> With the captain around, the best double check.
That's for the cage. Lanterns. to reply. Oh, <gasps> 
everything is all right. Now, you're going to tell them to move so we can get out. Go on. But stay focused, or they'll become dangerous again. It, it's working. this all we need now is to lose one of these cages be careful Did 
they do to them? They make them eat people's blood. Really? Yes, it's strange. I can feel the black hearts, but not these ones. I see. We need to find a way to get out of here. to explain. But Amicia doesn't know. No. I'll explain later. We had an argument, Mommy. It's all right, my darling. Let's get out of here, huh? with your son at last. I know what you have done to him. You have taken what you wanted, now let him go. Oh, you insult me, Madame de Rune. Your son is the natural carrier of the macula, and it has not yet finished with him, which means neither have I. But this you know. Vitalis, let us finish this. Nicolas, you cannot understand. You feel it as I do. Do you not, boy? We are bound by blood now. What do you think, Hugo? Your family grows larger, huh? beg of you. I promise to help you, but allow my son to leave. His destiny is not to be a Darun. His destiny is to be here, at my side. You are a monster. A monster? Madame, you have yet to see just how. Ours! 
You are the beginning of the conjuration. The future depends on you. There's a reward for he who kills her. Be strong. The prima macula. Let's react then. Continue. Stop torturing him. I'll tell you everything you want to know. It's too late. Come on. The child is weakening. The threshold awaits you. Pass to the other side. No, you don't go. Listen Come to me. Son, don't forget who you are. That's enough. Hugo, say something. Hugo, can you hear me? He is powerful, but he has not reached the threshold as we'd hoped. Do you know why? Amicia. It's Amicia. How tiresome. But he's close now, and we have other pawns we can play. Take her away. Leave him alone. What else do you want? <laughs> So much more. And you will stay here with me to make sure we get it. Do not worry, Hugo. I have complete faith in you. We shall succeed. Stay calm, Amicia. You go. Shh. Arthur and I tracked you down, but... You disappeared for three days, Amicia. You almost died. We were so worried. You go. Leave me alone. Others must be up. The rats will be coming. We need to light the fires. Come on! Please open, will you? I think Roderick is working in the yard. Is the lock still frozen? Uh, yes. It's a tough winter this year. Anyway, how was your nap? Feeling better? A little. Did you dream of him again? Yes. I'm going to prepare a special brew of St. John's Wort for you. Well, that's all right, Lucas. I don't need it. I miss him, that's all. I have to accept that he won't be coming back. Amicia, you're going to be all right? <sighs> I'm going to go see the others. Oh, can you tell Melly about the chest? Of course. <sighs> Melly's going to say something like, you should just piss on it. Way too cold for that. Ugh. <sighs> 
Oh, what are you doing here? Hugo should have found you. These things. I remember each place. Each moment. should make things a little easier. We've never had so many apples. Hugo would have made himself sick with them. Roderick still hasn't been able to work because of the snow. here again. Lucas has to stop picking up books. We're going to end up with them everywhere. <laughs> Lucas's face when he thought he created the great work. And Hugo. Well done, Lucas. You're a sorcerer. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all.
excuse me. If you... If you know where Hugo is, tell me out of pity. Or look after him if you can. soon set. I hope Hugo sees it from where he is. Wait, what? Locked again? It's the cold. I'm telling you, it's almost worse than rust. you. Come on, cheer up. One more day. What if? What if? What if? What if you stopped living like an animal? Oh, um, hello, Amicia. Hey, sorry, am I interrupting? Uh, no. Arthur was just saying he wants to leave. Again. Oh, come on! I want us to stay alive, that's all. Like we've always done. Listen, it'll be dark soon and we have to light the fires. Can you help me, Arthur? Go on. Try not to annoy the hell out of her. Why would I do that? Because you're a pain in the ass, that's why. Oh, Lucas needs help with his chest. Yeah, right. He just wants to see me, that's all. Oh. All right. Ready when you are, Amicia.
Then let's get the braziers in place, starting with... That one. Yes, I know. We've been doing the same routine for weeks, Amicia. I'm sorry, it just helps me sleep better knowing the pit is secure at night. So, um, what's up? I feel old. You look pretty good for an old person. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, I don't know your brother that well, but... He would like you. Really? You saved us. You were captured, you managed to escape. <laughs> You're like a hero from a book or something. A hero? But he would have been sad to see you leave. <sighs> ah. as we stay put. The Roderick method. Random, but effective. <laughs> Try it. I intend to. Right. You take that one? I'll look after the other Brazier. Let's go and make sure the brazier is right up to the edge. So, did you perform any marvels? Uh, just you wait and see. Right, I'm off for a wash. Nobody's going to be able to climb out of that pit. The system is here for a reason. The system won't stop trained soldiers. Arthur, Melly is tired of running. Melly and I are not people like you. But perhaps Melly isn't like you either. All right, I get it. You handle the brazier on the ramparts. I'll handle these ones.
see? Tell yourself that we have something here, and we need people like you to keep it safe. Let me think about it. Right, I finished. Something wrong? Amicia, I'll get a brazier your way. Try to reach it. All right, I'm counting on you.
We'd never make it. Are you all right? Yes, thanks. It's up to you now. The brazier on your side. I'll get you there. How are you doing? All right. I prefer being here than down there. What the hell is going on, Amicia? We've tried to get in before, but never like that. How come? How do I know? But it was almost like they were attacking. Oh, come on. They're rats, not the English army. But they know Shit. what you they're doing. I've only seen this once uh, before. Amicia, no, I, I think hope. I need your help. I have to leave it to me. I'm a bit worried about this. I can't go any faster. from here as possible. Well, I'm not a magician, huh? Are you all right? No. What the hell is going on? Arthur, did you get bitten? No. We have to get out of here. But was made to resist. Lucas, there were never so many before. This is not a simple infestation. What the hell is it then? This way! Quickly! Where does that go? Don't panic. The castle was designed for this kind of situation. Your castle's 